We're back at Christie's tonight for their post-war and contemporary evening sale, which is expected to fetch 270 to 397 million. Like the Impressionists and Modern sales earlier this week, there are fewer big-name consignments. However, there are a couple of lots that are expected to go for over 20 million tonight. The cover lot of the evening is Ed Boucher's Hurting the World Radio Number no. Two, estimated to go for between 30 million and 40 million. While David Hockney's Sir La Terrasse could go up for 25 to 45 million. Again, like last year, headlined by a David Hockney painting. This one, Sir La Terrasse, right behind us, is actually going for 25 to 30 million. That's right. And so it's a far cry from last year's record-breaking $91 million Hockney. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about this painting. Why is it different? Well, to begin, the most obvious difference is that it's not a double portrait. Um, the pool was a double portrait. It was also probably one of the most iconic paintings by the artist. It hasn't been seen since 1973, when it was last shown at the Louvre Museum. Do you think that the estimate for this one is maybe hurt a little bit and conservative because it wasn't in Bojack Horseman? Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> the Ed Boucher is kind of like the lot for tonight. Mm -hmm. um, you guys set the record five years ago in 2014 when Smash sold for over 30 million. That's right. What's the estimate on this? And what are we? what's the kind of like temperature for it right now? So this is our cover lot. We bring this to market with an estimate of 30 to $40 million. Everybody loved Smash. I think the market was so hungry for a major 60s Ruche painting. And I think ever since then, the market has continued to be very strong for Ruche. We almost expected a major Ruche to come to market sooner, but there are just not many of these available. So there's far fewer kind of trophy work per se this year than previous years but there's a lot of like little sleeper ones too like mm -hmm. the Charles White painting, Alma Thomas. Um, those are both poised to break records Absolutely. If, if they sell for their estimates. What is really driving the market for African-American work right now? I think sometimes having sales that are not so focused on the very top end allows these newer stories to be told. Yes. 43 million is bid. 44, 44 million is bid. 45 million. 46 million. Who needs an auction there? There it is. 46 million. At 46 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the Rouche. We sold. 46 million. 950,000. 950,000. One million dollars. You have it. One million. At one million eight. Two million now. At two minutes two, on my left then, last chance at two minutes two. Baron, right, you have it, two two. Thank you. Yes, twenty-five million five hundred thousand. Twenty-five million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars not me is <coughs> so here it is, two seven. The evening got off to a hot start tonight when works by Rashid Johnson and Dana Schutz both went for well over their estimates. However, things pulled off kind of quickly. With an 87% sell-through rate, 40% of lots went for below their low estimate before fees. However, records were set for Ed Boucher, Alma Thomas, and Charles White. So overall, a mixed bag.